welcome to nptel noc an introductory course on point set topology part 2 continuing with the study of filters today module 33 ultra closed filters filters and ultra filters on a given set have nothing to do with a particular topology on x though they control the behavior of all the topologies on x to a large extent namely via the notion of convergence right now we shall introduce a subclass of filters which depend on the given topology tau on x so that is the difference between these filters and ultra filters and ultra closed filters they as the name says that closedness comes because we are referring to a particular topology tau on x a filter f on x is called a closed filter if it has a base consisting of closed subsets of x okay so i started the topological space so closed subsets make sense it is called an ultra closed filter if it is maximal in the correction of closed filters okay so that is the definition of closed filter and ultra closed filter now if an ultra filter is closed filter then it is ultra closed filter because it is already maximal in the collection of all filters on the other hand you start with an ultra closed filter this may not be an ultra filter because it's maximal only in a subclass so there may be larger ultra filters which are not closed okay so this difference you have to keep in mind that's all now let me have some examples singleton capital x is always a closed filter because singleton x is always closed in whatever topology you take okay with respect to any topology on the other hand every filter is a closed filter on a discrete space because every subset is closed also right so you can take uh, the filter itself as a base if you like no problem so these are some easy examples of closed filters the cofinite filter on an infinite set is not a closed filter okay <laughs> for if it were then it would contain a non empty finite subset because the only non empty finite or non empty closed subsets right are the whole space or the finite subsets right so if it contains x as a base <laughs> then then there is no uh, you know uh, then it has to be if x is a base then x is the only element if it is not it is a cofinite filter x cannot be a base right so uh, it must have finite uh, uh, closed subset as a base but the moment it is non empty finite subset okay that is a contradiction because its complement will be also there as a uh, as a member all the open subsets are here non empty open subsets are here so that is not possible Okay, so conclusion is that this cofinite filter, which consists of all open subsets other than the empty set in the cofinite topology, is not a closed filter. So I have given you both examples, easy examples of closed filters as well as not closed filters. Okay, let X be a T one space. then i can give you more examples for each x belonging to x consider the ultra filter fx 
singleton x being a base for it and singleton x is closed this f x is a ultra you know it is a closed filter already it is ultra filter therefore it must be ultra closed filter also note that f x converges to x and x alone why because f x contains an x all right so these are the important ones and easily available ultra closed filter of course you may expect that there are and there may be many other ultra closed filters on an infinite set okay every closed filter is contained in an ultra closed filter so this is similar to every filter is contained in ultra filter of course uh, again the proof is john's lemma you have to verify something the verification is very easy here also the proof is as usual appealing to john's lemma take a to be the collection of all closed filters containing a given filter automatically it is non empty if lambda is a chain inside this uh, inside this family a each element of this chain has a closed base bi bi is a closed base for fi fi is a chain okay then take the union of all the members of uh, all the elements in bi so union of all bi that family will be a closed base for union of fi so this is what you have to verify okay because it's a chain this is possible okay again union of fi is a filter is is uh, easy just like in the earlier case so it is a closed filter therefore it is a member of lambda uh, if member of this a and it is an upper bound for all members of this one so that means condition for john's lemma is satisfied therefore conclusion of john's lemma is that there are maximal elements so every filter is contained in an ultra closed filter ultra closed filter okay similar to the theorem 5.7.52 uh, which is nothing but uh, uh, characterization of filter ultra filters the three characterization we had given okay we have the following characterization is not so strong a little weaker because we have only two of them here okay a and b exactly similar f is an ultra closed filter the second one is not arbitrary subset but only for open subsets every open subset u in x either u or u complement must be inside f if this condition is satisfied it must be ultra closed filter start with a closed filter of course you don't prove that is closed filter only ultra ness is proved okay the proof is more or less same but you have to see why the openness is coming coming here this condition is obviously we the weaker condition it is not for every open subset right after all it is uh, maximality is also inside the family of closed filters so that is that is the trick so let us see let us go through the proof correctly a implies b is not uh, very easy we are not very difficult start with a closed filter ultra closed filter let b be a base for that b consists of only closed subsets and it is a base for f that is the meaning given an open subset u of x consider the family b union complement of u that's a closed set so it's a closed family right family of closed subsets right if f union u complement has finite intersection property in fact you don't need the whole of f if b union f this is finite property is enough then B U N U C also has finite intersection property. So this is actually this uh, 
if filled on leaf and hence it would generate a closed filter f prime containing f okay the moment you assume this is as a finite intersection property there will be a filter f prime that will contain this f because it contains b okay now f is ultra closed therefore f must be f prime which just means that u complement is in f okay if it is not the case means what this thing a has it doesn't have finite intersection property then what happens that is otherwise there exists an a inside f such that a intersection u complement is empty okay that is the co finite intersection property is violated this just means that a is contained inside u therefore if a is inside f so u is also inside f so either u is there or u complement is there is what we have proved okay so b is b is proved now now let us prove b implies a okay suppose there is a closed filter f prime such that f is contains f prime we want to show that f is equal to f prime let b prime be a family of closed sets forming a base for f prime okay there is one because f prime is a closed filter for any b inside b prime suppose this b is not in f okay i am just supposing this is not in f then the complement of b must be in f by condition b but f is contains f prime so b complement is in f prime b and b complement both are in f prime that's a contradiction because intersection will be in f prime therefore this b must be inside f since this is true for all b this b prime the curly b prime must be inside f okay but b prime generates f prime so f prime is inside f so therefore equality holds okay so the proof is more or less the same but you know the flavor is different because we have to use the openness and closeness and so on here that's all but condition c is missing here okay so now you understand why last time we put the, this condition at the uh, last okay and then proved a implies c c implies b and b implies a this condition is nothing but given a union b inside f a is there or b is there in the case of ultra filters now similar condition but slightly different can be expected but no this is only one way one way implication is there okay the corresponding condition c is not equivalent to being ultra closed filter so let me state it separately don't get confused with the earlier theorem this proposition says suppose f is an ultra closed filter then given u and v two open subsets of x this condition holds what is this condition what is this statement this statement is if and only statement u v union u union v is inside f if and only if u is inside f or v is inside f actually one way is obvious because f is a filter okay if u is there or v is there u union v being a superset is there so what we have to show is that this larger set is there why the smaller one of the smaller sang is there okay under the hypothesis that f is a closed filter ultra closed filter okay so one way is obvious next this implication you have to assume f is an ultra closed filter u and v are open subsets such that the union is inside f we have to show one of them is inside f this is not true means what let us examine that 
suppose this is not true then it follows that the complements u c and v c must be inside f this not true means what neither u is there nor v is there but then the complements is they must be there because u is an ultra close filter and uh, we can use the previous theorem okay therefore the union u union v complement which is nothing but u complement intersection v complement that must be there but now you have a problem we already assumed u union v is inside f but you are assuming that intersection u intersection v intersection that is also inside f this is empty okay its complement and this one both of them can't be there that's all by a simple induction we get the following important result if x is written as a union of finitely many open subsets vi and f is an ultra closed filter on x then one of the vi's must be in f okay so this is very easy because what we have proved is that if u and v are open subsets and u union v is inside f then one of the u and v must be inside f right to begin with every filter contains the entire set x therefore you can just write x as i range from 1 to n minus 1 vi union vn apply this criteria either vn is there then we are done or i range to 1 to n minus 1 vi must be there inside f now you apply induction okay so one of the vi must be inside f all right so from this one let us deduce another important result here which is characterization of compact spaces in terms of ultra closed filters remember in in an earlier theorem we had characterized the compact spaces in terms of ultra filters every ultra filter is convergent that is a condition which ensures that x is compact and conversely so exactly same result is now a space x is compact if and only if every ultra close filter in it is convergent okay so what is the idea let x be a compact space and f be an ultra close filter in it suppose f is not convergent to any point then you will get a contradiction very easily namely it does not convert to any point means none of this nx the neighborhood is contained inside f that is the meaning of that x does not convert to f this entire neighborhood contains at f is the same thing as x converges to f f converges to x which what does this mean for each point x inside x we have a neighborhood vx of x such that this vx is not in f one neighborhood for each point but when you vary these points you get a covering for x but now x is compact so you get a finite covering okay as soon as you have this one this um, this corollary says that one of the vi's must be inside f but that is a contradiction just now none of the vi v x is inside f okay so compactness implies that every ultra closed filter converges to some point okay it may converge to more than more than one point also nobody ensures the uniqueness now let us prove the converse assume that every ultra closed filter on x is convergent let c be a family of closed subsets of x with finite intersection property 
okay we have to show that the entire intersection of members of c is non empty so that is enough to show that x is compact right so let f be the closed filter generated by c because any family which is which has finite intersection property generates a filter but that will be a closed filter because this will be member of uh, members of all the c are they are all closed subsets okay so we get a closed filter contained in a ultra filter ultra closed filter so let f prime be an ultra closed filter contained in let the by jones lemma now act be a limit point of this f prime because we are assuming that every ultra closed filter is convergent so let x be a limit point of limit of f prime this means that an x is contained in the f prime if x is not in c for some c inside c that would have meant that complement of c is a neighborhood that complement is a neighborhood the neighborhood is contained in f prime that means complement is in f prime okay but all the members of c are inside f and hence inside f prime therefore x must be inside c for every c inside c so that just means that the intersection has the common point x so that is non empty okay so characterization of a compact space in terms of ultra closed filters comes out see we have to prove this afresh both ways because if every ultra closed filter is convergent this does not mean immediately that every closed filter every filter every ultra filter converges right because there are many more of them on the other hand if compact space shows that every ultra filter is convergent but none of the ultra closed filters may be <laughs> or may be a, a ultra filter or some of them may be some of them are not right ultra closed does not mean that it is ultra filter so either way it is not true but so we have to prove it fresh but on the other hand if you look at the proof it is not all that different of course this is little harder we have to use the comp we have to use the closeness and generate closed subsets and so on it's fine okay a non convergent ultra filter is supposed to indicate the presence of a hole in the space which is making the space non compact okay because if it were compact then every ultra closed filter would have been convergent okay so this ultra closed filter there is no space for it to be convergent because that point is missing that is the idea of that there is a missing point in the space so and that must be making it non compact so this idea is similar to the presence of non convergent cauchy sequences in an incomplete matrix space by the very fact we know that in incomplete means a matrix space incomplete means there is a cauchy sequence which is not convergent so not convergent cauchy sequence indicate there are holes inside a matrix space following a similar track as in the case of matrix you know completion of a matrix space we may try to fill up these gaps by including all ultra filters on x okay so that could be one uh, way of looking at it but then you are warned already by the above theorem that you don't need all ultra filters if all ultra closed filters are convergent then the case the space will be compact therefore 
it should be possible to get a compactification by just taking care of all the ultra close filters so they should be enough to fill up all the holes so these are all just uh, surmising i mean we are just you know loud thinking may say trying to do oh this may be true then finally you have to prove all this let us concentrate our attention on the set wx of all ultra close filters on x okay let us let us not give up this idea that is all right we have to work of course so wx is nothing but you know set of all ultra close filters on x okay next going back to the analogy again of completion of a metric space recall that eventually recall that eventually constant sequences correspond to the points in the space itself right if you have some a1 a2 an and then all an plus 1 etc are equal to x x x x x x that sequence automatically converge to x and then what we did do in the completion the element x was identified with this cauchy sequence or the other way around whichever way you want so that was the map from the space x to the collection of all sequences and then of course we introduce there some equivalence relation and so on right so that was the idea so we can try to do that namely instead of sequences first of all you have to go to nets eventually constant nets is the keyword now here on the other hand we don't want even nets but we will use the bridge from nets to the filter which we have defined earlier right so what do we get if s is an eventually constant net the corresponding fs what is that that will be the singleton atomic filter fx okay so you see we are coming to this atomic filter fx it is supposed to represent you know a, a prototype of eventually constant sequence that is the whole idea oh that is how it is convergent also all the time okay in our definition it is also an ultra close filter provided x is t1 till then we don't need that okay all fx are closed filters if filled only if x is t1 space that brings us to make a blanket assumption that our space x is a t1 space because we just don't want to give up this wx right ultra close filters so we better assume x is a t1 space before we go further okay in which case all happens is this sub the subset of all atomic filters will just correspond to the points of x okay so this way wx can be thought of as a set which contains x by this embedding by this uh, injective mapping by this identification x going to fx so we have enlarged our space what remains we must put some topology on this one so that it becomes compact that is the first thing then we must examine that the map x going to fx is injective that's okay continuous and an embedding so that the image is dense this all we have to do okay right it is also clear that each fx converges exactly to one single point that's very important for us right that is an extra bonus though 
we are we were not bothered about that okay but that is because of some strange reason there is no t1 ness or t2 ness in bond we don't want to bring the t2 ness here you see usually uh, a a filter will convert to unique point if you have a hausdorff space okay that is not the reason these are very special uh, uh, fire filters effect they will convert to only one single point we cannot expect such uniqueness behavior by other ultra filters unless we are ready to make further restriction that exists hausdorff right so therefore it seems that we may need to introduce some kind of equivalence relation on the set wf okay so that the equivalence classes may be better qualified to become a compactification just like in the case of a completion of matrix spaces okay luckily it turns out that we don't have to worry on this point this process of compactification is much simpler than the construction of a completion of a matrix space that is going to be the topic of discussion for us now which we shall carry out in the next module okay so this is the motivation for considering the so called wallman compactification as we will do next time thank you